Pregnancy is a time of great excitement when women take a great deal of care about what they eat and what they do. It's a wonderful period of time that's over faster than you can imagine. The exposures can take place from all sorts of things and we can't put pregnant women in bubbles. We don't want to, but we want to make sure that they make healthy babies when and if they choose to do so. Now, having worked at the National Academy of Sciences for 10 years and worked with some of the top scientists in the world, I thought there could be no problem with cell phones because if there were, I would know about it and so would all my colleagues. Well, what I found out was that I was completely wrong. We worked on passive smoke. We worked on asbestos. And in each one of these things, what we saw was an epidemic in slow motion. We knew that tobacco caused cancer. In the 1930s, we have known the dangers of asbestos also for more than 100 years. And yet the arguments went on and on and on. Show me the proof. And the answer is, you show me the money. When a baby's born, there are 100 billion neurons or nerve cells in the body. Many of them are competing for connections. All of those cells are bridging connections, even in the first few months of pregnancy. And disruption of those earliest signals can have serious complications for later life. Nerve cell connections that shouldn't be there may stay. Nerve cell signals may be disrupted. The wrong signal may get sent to the wrong neuron. And as a result, there may be permanent changes in how the wiring of our brain is left. How those nerve cell connections finalize is critical for many aspects of our function as human beings on this earth. Really have to start asking what about all this wireless radiation that I'm surrounded with you don't get to control a lot of it in public places but in your own home in your own space in your own workplace you really do have the right to control what you're exposed to you've got cordless phones you've got cell phones you've got tablets you have Wi-Fi monitors and you may have baby monitors and all of them are emitting wireless radiation and the total effect of all of these things is something that we have never examined. The fetus is perhaps the most vulnerable to these types of insults. When the brain is just forming, we are perhaps at our most vulnerable stage. So this is a study that really looked at only the effect of prenatal exposure to cell phone radiation. What effect uh, does having a cell phone near your baby when you're pregnant have on that baby later on in life when that baby's grown up? We tested these mice when they reached adulthood and uh, looked at the lasting effect of that early prenatal cell phone exposure. The mice who were exposed to cell phones were more hyperactive. They were running around the cage a lot more aggressively. They had poorer memory. Um, they couldn't remember objects in the cage uh, as well as their counterparts who weren't exposed to the cell phone radiation. Uh, but they did not have any increased anxiety. Sometimes running around can be a sign of anxiety. It was not that. They were calm and relaxed. So they were running around these cages, bouncing off the walls, not a care in the world. Something that in our eyes resembles attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children. Um, that was the closest model we can think of to the behavioral effects that we saw in the mice. When I first saw Hugh Taylor's study, I was uh, thrilled and really deeply concerned because I was aware of research earlier looking at what happens inside the brain. And if you look at something called the dentate gyrus, which occurs here and, and is quite critical to where brain cells form for thinking and learning, you can see that prenatally exposed rats develop smaller brains with more brain damage. The brain is tremendously resilient, but when there's so many environmental insults at once, the circuitry in the brain becomes overwhelmed. And unlike what we have in our electrical wiring in homes, where there's a circuit breaker that can stop the electrical flow before it causes damage, the brain doesn't have that same capacity. And so environmental insults, when they add up, the circuitry is especially vulnerable. 
We have some human evidence now where a few studies have followed women with exposures to electromagnetic fields and they have seen that their children who were exposed to more electromagnetic radiation tend to have more learning disabilities and more problems in school. Mothers who spent a lot of time on the cell phone carried a cell phone with them during their pregnancies at a higher risk of having children with behavioral problems. And I think when you have clear cause and effect relationship in mice and an association in women, that women who use these cell phones had children with more behavioral problems, I think that's together very powerful evidence saying that this is truly a cause and effect in humans as well. The mouse studies prove that it's really causative, that the cell phones are causing it. It's not just because of some other behaviors linked to cell phones in women. Children are often the recipient of environmental insults and suffer the consequences, yet they can't weigh in in the same way as the organizations, the industries that produce these environmental insults. And so that's why it's terribly important for researchers, scientists, and the public at large to advocate for being proactive and preventing hazardous exposures before they occur. You know, it may be that humans and mice are different and the effect might be somewhat different in humans than mice, uh, but at this point I wouldn't take any chances. There's essentially no downside to being cautious and protecting your baby. Most pregnant women understand they should stay away from cigarette smoke, they should not drink alcohol, they should not drink coffee, they need to be careful about what they eat. They know that. But they aren't aware of the need to minimize their exposure to wireless radiation. We cannot afford to treat this generation as experiments in a subject with no controls. Thank you.